What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about several different topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Jeepers Creepers 4, Saw X, Halloween Ends, and Scream 6. Just to kick it off with Saw X, shout out to you One Take News. One Take News earlier today broke the news that Tobin Bell will return as John Kramer for Saw X, which is expected to begin production later this same month. I just did a video talking about that recently because that again is coming from the user over on the Saw subreddit, user Vink360. Saw franchise producers Mark Berg and Oren Calls said, what a thrill to be reuniting with Tobin. His performance as John Kramer is part of the magic that made this franchise a phenomenon and his character is an active part of this film. Now that last statement backs up what the same user again vink360 has been reporting over on the saw subreddit that this would be like more of a john kramer centric movie we could potentially be seeing this from john kramer's pov as well kramer's character could be traveling out of the states in relation to his cancer diagnosis and my theory is perhaps that we find out someone did train john in relation to these games he likes to play not to say that he's not jigsaw but that jigsaw himself learned some stuff from someone else so, I mean, I guess I could also open the door to tell stories about this other individual, but, you know, who knows? I'm just excited about a true Jigsaw-centric narrative if it ends up being true, and that's what we ultimately get. We know that Saw X is expected to release in October of 2023. Not too much is known about the cast. We know Kevin Grudert is back to direct it. He's had his hands involved with several of the other installments in the past, and this film hopefully will be something that is just a nice bow to wrap up tobin bell's iconic role as john kramer jigsaw and they can at least hopefully try to branch out and do things without him because i feel like they they think that they need him so badly and i think that what you need honestly is a proper send-off and something that will entice your viewers to say okay we want to see more without him you have to do something here i i, I would imagine in saw x something to make people excited about the future even if he's not present so just to jump into halloween ends David Gordon Green recently admitted to something about Halloween ends that raises frustration for some in the fandom. I would say for me, it's frustrating and confusing to read these comments from him. So he was talking with Total Magazine, Total Film and uh, Games Radar is the website I got this from. So so this, he said he said this with Total Film, despite the film being the last in the longstanding Halloween franchise, he said never once did they considered he ne he had never once considered making a Laurie and Michael movie. The concept that it should be a final showdown type brawl never even crossed our minds. I wanted to see where it would go. I wanted one to win, one to die, but we were always more ambitious with that. So how do we go out? So how do we want to go out by doing what no one ex ex expected us would do? or doing what no one except us would do make a love story so like these comments to me they shine a light on how there was a clear disconnect in creative intent and universal marketing decisions also to me it would appear the studio didn't have a lot of confidence in the new direction and chose to build up something that made up maybe three minutes of the actual movie in michael versus Lori. i'm going to do a separate video to discuss this because i don't believe green is the sole person to blame here but there's also some sentiments i have on a thought process like that that you never thought to kind of construct something in the vein of building towards that final confrontation between michael and Lori. you wanted to do this which again this kind of backs up the narrative that this is probably better suited for an anthology Halloween movie. But again, I'll get into all of that for the separate video. These are just some alarming comments for him, in my opinion, to kind of read when considering the marketing. Again, he doesn't have too much to do with that as much as I think people assume that's universal, which to me highlights they didn't have confidence in this direction of the story. That's just my opinion on that. Just to jump into Jeepers Creepers 4. So I believe going forward. What I should start doing is practicing who owns Jeepers Creepers because it's not Victor Salva. He actually admitted to this in an old article from 2011 when Salva was still getting getting interviewed by people like Brad Miska uh, or Miska from Berletti Disgusting. He this was from 2011. He was speaking about the struggling Cathedral movie and reminded us during this interview about MGM distribution being holed up. We know MGM was going through some financial problems in the late 2000s. He concluded the statement by saying Francis Ford Coppola, who we know is a big backer of Victor, 
Francis Ford Coppola's American Zoltrope production company owns Jeepers Creepers. This is also a company that has been involved with the series since its inception, I believe. It's a similar situation to Spyglass owning Scream, but previously it was Dimension Films and the Weinsteins. So what does this have to do with 4? Well, 4 was produced by an individual named Michael O'Hoven. He produced this through Infinity Films, his production company, but both Myriad Pictures and American Zoltrope are absent from this film, despite 3 being handled correctly because O'Hoven went to American Zoltrope after after or about three after salva had begged him to do it before it went to film in louisiana so why was four handled so incorrectly without the rights holders or myriad pictures knowledge i'll leave links to some articles here in the description that was just some insightful bits to learn from a 2017 article and going as far back to discover that victor salva himself is on record admitting he does not own this ip he's on record admitting that american zoetrope owns this ip it's no different than how again Kevin Williamson isn't the he isn't the person who owns Scream. He's the creator. The people who own Scream right now are Spyglass. It was just a very insightful bit of details I thought I would share as far as like an update as it pertains to Jeepers Creepers 4 because it just raises more questions. Michael O'Hoven was involved with Infinity Films producing Jeepers Creepers 3. So what went wrong and why did they go so south with 4 and end up in this lawsuit? There's so many questions that are now raised from this. Plus, Victor Salva, it was nice to find that he admitted in 2011 that he does not own this IP. So this franchise can't exist without him. It can exist without him. So just to conclude this with Scream 6, Scream 6 might have something coming out this Thursday. Now, this is coming from a tweet that Clips Comprehend tweeted out today. If you want to go look at the tweet, go to his profile. But uh, all, he, all they simply put out was Thursday. So, of course, we have only had so many things that we think are going to be coming. We've already know about the existence of character posters. Uh, shout out to you, Craven Something Scary. You were the first person, I believe, that did a video talking about that to bring that to our attention. And then... We also now have seen rumors circulating online. I don't know who this originated from. This idea that we would get something on Halloween because it would be ideal because Scream 6 might have some Halloween settings going on in it. Now, Clips is saying that something could happen on Thursday. So it's one of the two. Either we're going to get the teaser or we're going to get character posters. My money is going to be on a short teaser. A short teaser that could announce maybe something even bigger coming maybe a longer teaser a teaser for the teaser but uh we'll see what happens this thursday if anything let me know what y'all think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews like me to cover in the future also with this i think if this happens on thursday many people will start to believe that sydney prescott will appear in scream six but with all that in mind guys i'll see you in the next video